This was supposed to be the big game. At least, that's what you would have expected going into the season. But a not-so-funny thing happened to Sun Prairie on the way to the Cards' Week 5 matchup with Big 8 rival Middleton. Only sitting at the top of the standings was the home Cardinals. Beautiful night for football. If you're a duck, Middleton defense makes a splash. Garegraff hauls down J.P. Curran early on. Home Cardinals trying to add to their seven-point advantage in the first quarter. Off the play action, Brandon Schmidt connects with Noah Heilbeck. Deep into Sun Prairie territory. Drive is capped with the pitch to running back Cam Molly. Splashes his way in from nine yards up. They go up 14, and Middleton wins it, going away 45 to 13. The annual battle for the Bird Hobley clipboard. Memorial taking on West. The kids' definition this is a targeting right here. Adam Smith Jr. nearly had his head taken off by Trayvon May. May was ejected from the game. Still scoreless in the second quarter, and it was this kind of night offensively. Elon Savage has no way to go when he tries to hand it off and gets taken down eventually. Third quarter, Memorial finally gets on the board. Emmett Enright keeps it and scores from four yards out. Spartans by seven. They go on to the 28-6 victory. Staying in the Big 8, LaFollette hosting Janesville Craig. Seven all in the second. Lancers driving Julian Patton with the pitch to Elias Soba. Nice gain on the ground, but he would pay for it on the hard hit from Jared Filter. Hard hitter not supposed to finish the drive with a short dive in a few plays later. Lancers take the lead by seven and they go on to a 28-7 victory. Verona's home date with Beloit Memorial was postponed until tomorrow night at 7. Now in the Capital Conference, there were some big storms to keep an eye on, but those were the matchups. Ryan Wing joins us with one meeting between unbeatens in tonight's Blitz Big Game. Rob, the six Capital North teams went a combined 23-1 in in non-conference play, including Columbus and Lakeside Lutheran. They finally got into conference play tonight, so you know those records will definitely change. The Cardinals enter this one, averaging 28 points a game, while the Warriors at 43 a contest. First Columbus play after a Lakeside score. The handoff goes to fullback Zach Smith. He will matriculate the ball down the field. 70 yards to be exact to the house. Home team goes up 7 to 6. It's 14 6 now. Columbus facing a fourth and two. Peyton Henry keeps it himself on the QB keeper. He won't be touched right up the gut. 39 yards gives the card a 21 6 lead. Austin Denoyer doing his best to keep the Warriors in this one. Starts this one to the right, bounces it back to the left. He strolls 20 yards to bring them within nine. Coach Bauer said he wasn't sure how his line would hold up against the fullback dive, and he was right. Smith again. His third score of the first half, this one from 33 yards out. All Columbus tonight. Cards stay unbeaten with the 42-14 victory. Elsewhere in the Capital North, unbeaten Poinette, hosting one loss Lake Mills. The Pumas win 17-9. The other matchup of unbeatens in the Capital North went the way of Lodi tonight. They knocked off Luther Prep 24-0. The Blue Devils have yet to allow a point this year. That's impressive. They host Poinette next Friday. No mathematician, Ryan, but if they do that, they have a good chance of winning all their games this year. Thank you very much. Time to check in with the Badger Conference, where a crossover battle between first place teams headlines the night's action. Unbeaten Wanakee hosting Stoughton. Vikings lost a pair of non conference games, but won both Badger South tilts in the fourth quarter. We go. Javion Dane gets the call, and like another Dane we know, muscles through for some needed yardage. And that, as the kids like to say, leads to this. Again, it's Dane, this time plowing through the pack for a Warriors touchdown. And they go on to the 35 to nothing win. Sock Prairie fans just as muddy as their team this evening as the Eagles hosted first place DeForest. Connor True connects with receiver Jacob Kopstrand, and that turns into a 50 yard pitch and catch. But the Norskis are unable to turn it into points because a few plays later, the Norskis cough up the ball, and the Eagles' Jacob Adler picks it up. The Norskis would rally for 35 unanswered second half points and win 35 to 6. In the Badger South, Edgewood visits Monona Grove. First quarter, Ryan Weidenbeck takes the pitch, gets to the outside, stretching the defense. He's got some blockers and dives for the pylon. Crusaders striking first. Ensuing drive for the Silver Eagles, Alex, Alec Algen, deep rainbow toss. And Merrick Nelson comes down with a ball for the 32-yard gain. Silver Eagles get it down on the ground to Torin Young, of course. Bottled up, and then the second effort bounces outside, gets the touchdown. MG goes on to win it 42-21. to One other Badger Conference note in the state's most played rivalry, Reedsburg beat Baraboo 20-0. Time now to head southwest where our own Marissa Silvis set up shop tonight for an interesting battle at the home of the Cubans.
Hey, Rob, Darlington's been using the talented duo of Hunter and Trevor Johnson to run all over teams, and Cuba City's outscored their opponents 168 to 15. The two unbeatens met tonight at OA Barth Field. The rain was definitely falling, but everyone ready in the stands with the umbrellas. First quarter, it's Jared Meister taking the snap. He barrels up the middle for the big pickup before being taken down by several defenders. The first down put the Redbirds in great field position. Later, Hunter Johnson takes the rock. He gets into the end zone easily to give Darlington the early 7-zip lead. Next drive, Hunter's cousin, yeah, Trevor, he's taking his turn. He gets in for the score. The game was under a lightning delay, but after resuming, Darlington gets the win 34-13. Another Swall Conference matchup, Mineral Point hosted Riverdale. Fourth quarter, Point with a huge lead. Riverdale trying to make something happen, but Traveler Troxel's pass gets picked off by Brandon Forsyth. And watch him go. He broke a tackle, makes a spin move. He takes it all the way to the house for the Pointers touchdown. Time winding down in the game. Caleb Johnson pitches it to Brady Fox. And Fox runs to the far sideline to get in for the score. But this one, all mineral point. Lucas Sanchez had two TDs. The Pointers win 48-12. The other unbeaten team in the swell entering week five, Iowa Grant. The game was called with six minutes remaining. But it's Iowa Grant getting the 30-6 win over Southwestern. Rob? Thank you very much, Marissa. Here's hoping week number six brings a return to better weather. The blitz is in the books. But there's still more to come your way tonight. The Badgers know full well to not look a gift horse in the mouth when the men from Troy come to the camp. A preview when we return.